Um, yeah, if you're modeling and you're working from a, <coughs> a 2D design sheet, you know, it could be you could be starting with a Z-sphere or just a regular mesh. But if you want to load reference, there's a fairly good way to, to do it in ZBrush. Um, you can go into the draw palette, and uh, you have to activate this thing called the floor, right? So it shows you your your grid. And if you go back to draw, there is front, back, and uh, left, right, or up, down. Usually you'd have a, a, a sort of a, a front and a left view or a right view, right? So uh, in this case, you can load, click on your map, basically brings up the texture palette, and then you can go to import. Um, so I've got one here. And now you've got a reference. So if you turn off perspective, right, you can start to uh, position things. So you can start to do, you know, your basic uh, shaping. Uh, let me just make poly mesh here. So depending on what you're doing, you know, you can shape this to your character's uh, proportions. Uh, a few other tips on this is that um, you've got the fill mode. So if you set this to two, it just makes the background a little brighter. And if you set it to three, it actually kind of gives you this handy x-ray view. So you can kind of, again, get the exterior proportions done. Um, and while you're in here, you can also do things like a horizontal offset so you can shift from you know a front back view to look at the proportions or a side view as well as a vertical offset if you need to you know adjust this a bit um, and like I said you can also load uh, a side so if we go uh, just load the same map basically again so now you've got right kind of your your different views so you can maybe match this up. So if I go to, uh, again, to draw under left, right, and then do a uh, horizontal offset. So we maybe fit this to the side profile. So. So now you can do things like clip curve and start to get kind of the silhouettes down. Now, uh, in this case, I will mention, you know, this drawing looks like it's been done in a, in a bit of perspective, right? So that, that will kind of impact uh, how you interpret this. Um, but, uh, you know, the main idea is kind of there, right? I'm just going to kind of quickly do a clip curve just to get the basic volumes sort of in. Right? So you can very quickly, you know, build off these shapes. The other thing that's really interesting is that if you're grabbing the move tool, for example, just want to show you what happens. Check out the dot. The center dot of the stroke projects back to the two planes or whichever planes are visible. So you can really say, oh, this is exactly where this should be, even in perspective. Right? It's pretty cool. So now you can really kind of start to work those um, sort of silhouette shapes uh, to hopefully get the right kind of profiles and volumes. Okay? Uh, something else I should mention too, you can work. Um, you know, I've shown you guys Z-spheres, Dynameshing. Uh, this thing, I guess, could basically be in Dynamesh now. And I mentioned this just with the nose, but um, sometimes this is really useful to do. Uh, let me just kind of clip through here. Okay, so. Now we can start uh, working on the volume. But if you want, you can go uh, B for brush and do uh, inset. Um, Insert brushes, sorry. So a lot of times, you know, arms and legs are, are essentially basic uh, cylindrical kind of shapes. And so a lot of times I'll, you know, I often prefer to kind of use the move tool in a way to help sort of set these shapes up. And then we can use things like deformation. So maybe we can try to skew these uh, shapes or um, taper them. So maybe I'll taper them, but then scale them down a bit. So I'll go to size and bring those down. So very quickly, right, you can start to kind of lay in the, uh, the sort of shapes and pr proportions and volumes that you basically need, right? So and if we turn off floor, then it kind of goes back to regular display mode, right? So again, working in big shapes, big volumes, um, you know, checking your silhouettes, this sort of stuff can go really, really quickly inside. Again, I think in this case, you know, you'll have to deviate from the drawing, have the arms out in A pose, split the sleeves off, 
and again you can do inserts with either the body parts or those sort of, sort of simple volumes like spheres and cylinders and whatnot, right? So again, it's often good for things like the shoulders to sort of toss in a little. There we go, I'll just move this stuff in I'm using the move brush in this case. some of this down so yeah to get rid of the blocky forms too you can sometimes use the uh, H polish or trim dynamic uh, to really um, yeah let's take that intensity down a bit so I'm gonna start to kind of round it out and then dynamesh it together so start kind of getting these broader forms in place, right? 